Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add rulers in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is have Premiere Pro open and I just have this sample video track on my timeline. So what we're going to be doing is adding some rulers to the sample file so you can see exactly how it's done. And what we're going to be doing is coming to the image preview section right here. Now, from this point, by default, you don't need to have any video track selected. Just have your composition opened. And what we're going to be looking at is the toolbar here at the bottom. And this is the default layout for your toolbars. But what we can do is actually add more tools and sections to this. If we come to the very right hand side, we have this plus button here, which is called a button editor. If we click this open, we can see a bunch more buttons become available to us in Premiere Pro. And we can add a couple of extra things here that will be useful. So the very first thing we have on the bottom right is a space. And that's the first thing I'm going to be adding to the list right here. And it's just going to add a nice empty space between our sections so we can easily group buttons to make them in a logical order. The next three things we're going to be adding in this case is what I'd recommend is the safe margins, the show rulers button, and then finally the show guides button. Now we're going to be putting all these here. These also have shortcut keys. If you hover over each of them, you can see the shortcuts. Once you have everything added and you have them in an order that makes sense to you, what we're going to be doing is clicking OK, and then these buttons are going to be added to our timeline. So the first thing we're going to be doing is clicking on the Show Rulers button. And you can see once you add this, you'll see around your composition and timeline, we have these guides with a bunch of numbers on the side of our image. And if we want to add rulers from these guides, all we need to do is come to the side of these. You'll see your mouse cursor change to this icon. What we can do is click and drag from anywhere in this point and add rulers to your section. Now, in this case, you can drag them from the top and bottom, and it will also tell you how many pixels deep you are into your image with the number floating. So in this case, I'm 526 pixels deep. Here, I'm 775, etc. So here you can add rulers wherever you want. So let's say in this case, I'm trying to add rulers to define the face. I want to add rulers across the eyes. I want to add a ruler across the middle of the nose and then somewhere between the mouth. This is where rulers are really useful and actually more useful in some cases than guides because they're completely customizable. We're not trying to stick to a fixed grid. Say, for example, I want to put a ruler over here on the right to define this is where I'm going to be adding extra content. This will give me a good idea that this section is off limits that I'm not meant to be adding anything here as this is where we're going to add everything in post. This can just help give a nice idea to understand where your composition is on your screen. So now as you can see, let's say I set up my base area. I want to keep all this left side free and I plan to add post content here. So I'm scrolling through my image and maybe at this point I actually want to look at the video a little bit further. I want to add some color correction, but the rulers might be a little bit annoying, but I still want to keep the position for a little bit later. So rather than removing it and then trying to remember everything, that's why we have the show guides button here, which will temporarily hide the rulers. But once we enable it again, the rulers will be in the exact same position. So this is nice. We can quickly hide and unhide the rulers to focus more on the image rather than the ruler position themselves. And when we come back to the original position. You can see everything is right back in the center where we left it originally. So the last thing I recommended to add was a safe margin option right here. If we click this open, it adds some extra safe margins and information to our image. So right away, we can see this is the center point of our image. So this also gives us a nice quick way to add just just quick rulers so we know approximately where the center is. So if you want to use this as an extra guidance, it's really nice to do it in this case. Now, for example, you can see I have a lot of rulers on screen and maybe this is a little bit too much. I want to remove the center point rulers I just created. How we can do this is simply hover over any ruler. What we can do is click and drag it back to the center origin point over on top of our numbers and then your rulers will be taken away. You can do this on both sides and you can easily remove them. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to add rulers in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.